Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where you want to go ahead and fix your iPhone if it's randomly disconnecting from your Wi-Fi service that you're currently connected to. Now the first thing I would always recommend looking at is to make sure whether it's an iPhone problem or if it's a Wi-Fi problem. If you notice that all the other devices around you also occasionally disconnect from the Wi-Fi that you're connected to, well that's probably the problem. The Wi-Fi maybe is, is the issue and not necessarily your iPhone in and of itself. So that's pretty much the first thing I'd recommend taking a look at is to actually monitor whether it's your iPhone or if it's the Wi-Fi router that's being the issue. Now that's number one. Number two, let's say it is just the iPhone and it's not any other device. Well, what I would recommend doing is making your way over to your settings just like so. You'll come into this panel. All you want to do is go ahead and click on your Wi-Fi connection settings, which are right up here. So go and click on Wi-Fi. All you want to do is go and see which specific Wi-Fi connection you're having issues with. If you're connected to the 2G one and it's always messing up, you should probably be connected to the 5G one to be honest. So connect to the 5G option of your specific Wi-Fi router and you want to go ahead and see what's going on. You know, maybe switch routers here and there, maybe even turn off your router and see if you're getting a better experience. If it's just every single time you connect to that router and you're pretty much having issues, well, what I would recommend doing here is going down into your iPhone settings right here. Go and click on general. You then want to go and click on software update right here. And what you want to do here is you want to update your iPhone. Now it may be a little bit difficult because maybe you don't have a Wi-Fi connection consistently, but if you go ahead and click here, it'll go ahead and download in the background to click download and install. It'll download the update automatically in the background and you'll pretty much just have to wait it out. So it's a little bit easier than having to go through and actually, you know, sit there and, you know, try to manually do it. So it'll do it automatically. And at that point, I'd recommend updating your iPhone. Now, let's say you can't have an update or it doesn't update properly. Well, then go ahead and hold down the buttons to power down your iPhone. You want to go and slide to unlock and you want to go ahead and just slide to unlock and power down that iPhone at that point. If you're still having issues, I'd recommend contacting Apple support. But typically, you should be good to go for the most part here. So... That kind of covers it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.